All right, y'all, so just doing this quick video comparing the fly oxbloods and the phenom sangrias. And I think I've been getting these comparisons because they're similar in color and they're similar in marketing as being pushed as a luxury type glove. Uh, in pictures, it's kind of hard to tell, but now that you see them in person right next to each other, you can kind of tell that they have a different hue, a different color, uh, you know, a different shade of oxblood. So the flies look more brown. You have that nice kind of rich color and the sangrias have a lighter reddish hue to them. The biggest thing to me is the leather. So with the flies, the oxbloods have a thicker leather. So you're gonna feel that difference when you put your hand in. It's gonna take a little longer to break in. It's gonna feel snug and feel more streamlined and contoured to your hand. Now with the phenoms, when you put your hand in, it's gonna feel more broken in. You know, it feels loose right out the box. So that's a nice feature. To me, the flies have a smoother liner and all of the phenoms are pretty damn smooth. Just not as smooth, smooth as the flies. Now you can see the padding on the phenom. It's a little thicker throughout as opposed to the flies where it's a little thinner throughout. And that's not to say that one's more protective than the other. I think they're both protective. It's just fly has a more streamlined fit and feel. But, you know, the phenoms are great. Good luxury glove, comfortable, you know, stylish as well as the flies. And if you want that ox blood look, but you don't have the ox blood money, the phenoms could be a great alternative. But if you want that luxury look, that luxury feel, the flies are for you.